Previously, Neil deGrasse Tyson told two coders to start a startup in their dreams, so they quit their jobs to pursue it full time. What are we building? An open source AI powered code editor that integrates all the best AI tools into one place so that you can make what you want to make. We recently got funded by a top startup accelerator to join a batch of other founders for two months, at the end of which is demo day. Here we gotta present our product to investors and they choose whether to invest in us or not. And I'm not gonna lie, we, we might be cooked. Our names are Nang and Pan and we're building fully in public. 34 days until demo day. Welcome back to episode two. For the past, I don't know, four days. 1 a.m. right now. For the past four days, we were supposed to make content and all we've been doing is just sitting in this room. Just coding. coding. I don't know, we were trying to make it entertaining. But yeah, welcome to episode two. All right, so we're in a very difficult position right now where we have to integrate like three things. We have a problem where we can't integrate all of this together currently. There's always a problem in each. Uh, either one is like doesn't display fully or displays but not all functionalities work. Right now, I'm just trying to list out all the possibilities for this integration to work. So coding, right? If you think about it, at the end of the day, it's just changing ones and zeros. And let's say you want a feature like this inventory thing, that's all right because there will always exist a combination of ones and zeros where it does work. And so if that's here and you're here where it doesn't work, how do you get there? There's only two factors for this function, if you want to call it that. It's time and brain power. It's only a matter of time and enough brain power where you reach the combination of ones and zeros that it works. I know it's not what Pan wants to hear after dealing with this bug for like two days. No, it's fine. I'm just trying to figure out what is the best move forward right now. It's a long day of work. We are gonna go play some pickleball and tennis. Check out the view. Oh, we left New York for this. The founder of uh, DoorDash was talking with us. He has a math background, right? So he said he went about his startup in a very mathematical way. He would have a hypothesis and then try to disprove it. So he started in Palo Alto and it was working, right? But instead of doubling down on Palo Alto, like, okay, the, but we gotta make sure this works at scale. He would go on to, let's say San Jose or a different city and then he would try to make it work there. So basically he would try to find a place where the delivery would not work to try to disprove his hypothesis that delivery is good. But then it ended up working everywhere. So he failed to disprove his hypothesis that deliveries are good, which kind of proves his hypothesis, right? It's like a proof by contradiction, whatever you call it. And then Nang has a counter argument, which we have yet to find a mathematical solution. He says, startups cannot succeed without a woman's touch. What? So how can we disprove this argument? Okay, well, I didn't clarify. It's companionship. It's about the touch, it's about- Having a girlfriend or- Yeah, yeah having a girlfriend, maybe. Or maybe I am talking about the woman's touch. So, Dude, we had no girls since we came to SF so and we've been, we got canceled. Maybe that's what Tony Shu was getting at. All I know Recursion. is that me and Pan have not talked to a single girl since we came here and we've been on the brink of failure each day. I don't know, if, I'm not a scientist, but there might be a correlation. Good morning, today is Thursday. I have a meeting with Stripe right now. So I'm about to meet with this guy from Stripe and hopefully he can give us reduced margins. Yeah, uh, and I just thought about something else. So, yeah, I was trying to activate uh, like an Apple Pay. Yeah, I think these are activated now. I'm not sure what Google Pay is. We've been, we've been dealing with this big issue of having multiple chats and it's something users want, not just having one chat, right? And we're also building, okay, we wanna make Pair Eye Creator, right? Which is gonna be here. Wow, you look at this overlay. And you're gonna have chats here and different functionalities, perplexity, aider, uh, and then here as well, right? And you can have multiple chats. And there are some difficulties behind the scenes when you have multiple chats, because right now the code base we're using for the, the AI chat is continue. And the way it's set up is that it's just one chat, one messaging service, one backend. So we have to change the architecture quite a bit in order to allow it to have message passing and functionality in multiple chats at the same time. But hey, take a look at this. You can say hi here. And it's working. Okay, also say hi here. Let's go! Let's go! Beautiful. Beautiful. And now that this is set up, we're about to put some crazy shit in this overlay. So, we don't have much snacks at this office, but we do have one. This is our PEDs right here. Get ridiculous. Project Jelly, baby. 
Good for your skin, good for your weight loss, and it's only five calories and tastes amazing. We just got our new credit cards. We're officially a real business. Oh, We're legit shit. now. Yeah. Duke Pan Pair AI, baby. Hell yeah. We still have not gotten any investment money That's in true. our bank accounts. <laughs> Apparently it takes a long time to get it into your accounts, but uh, we're waiting. But right now we're gonna show perplexity. So now with perplexity, we can access the web in real time. Give me the latest Python async IO documentation and a code block as example. The problem with Claude is the cutoff date is last April. That it gives you as of October 2024. Oh shit, that's right now. Are, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we are October, October 21st. Now, once we have this, right, uh, you can either yeah. ask for it to elaborate if you want more stuff, or if this is good enough and you want to give this as context to Perry I chat, you can click this icon directly. Add to Perry I oh, chat. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Add yeah. to Perry AI chat context. Okay. Let's click this. Oh, <laughs> I would use this for sure. All right, we're on the right path. Okay, so it has been maybe like six or seven days where we have not left this apartment pretty much. Before, I was yapping about the combination of one zeros where everything works. To a certain degree, we got there now because we now have Pair AI Creator in beta mode. Wait. Once upon a time, I was making this project called AI Generated Ebooks, and so when you generate an ebook, it gives you this success page, and this is this is just ass. So let's make it better with Pair AI Creator. If you guys don't already know, Ader is one of the top code generation AI tools out there, and it has one of the highest scores on the Sweet Bench benchmark. But it's only a CLI tool, so we think it's just a better UX if there's a nice UI over here instead of just being a CLI tool. So that's what we have here. Let's ask. Hair I created to just make this more professional. So here I said, make my success yeah. page more professional and it has full context of your code base. It's actually better than what we had before so it can just find the files that need to be changed. And it also has file creation and multi file editing all at the same time, which is what we're seeing here. Oh, it directly <laughs> changed. All right, Look it that. happened too fast, but this is our old one, right? This is our old page and this is the new page. And we didn't have to touch the files or anything. We can just directly commit it now. This is probably just the beginning for Pay Ad Creator, but it can already do so much. We actually just released this to the public. So yeah, now everybody can just go try Pay Ad Creator beta. I bought something to celebrate. No way. <laughs> Hey, to celebrate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we got Perry Eye Creator now. All right, your feature is coming out. Thank you for watching this episode. I'll um, finally probably leave our apartment for once this time. Maybe now we should go play some tennis. Yo, I'm down, I'm down. Hey. It's 1.40 a.m. Before we go to sleep, I just wanted to give a thank you to all the contributors so far in the project. Shout out to the community. You know, you guys have always said Terry I and are a huge core part of this, honestly, like more important than me and Pan, to be honest. And we just wanted to say thank you. Say so that if you want to do something, you should definitely prepare a lot for it. And when the time's right, just go and chase what you want to do. Maybe right now you're in the preparation phase and maybe you can help out with Perry I. And actually True. we just release this thing called open source bounties. So pretty much some people in our community was were saying that they wanted the new AirPod Maxes. And I mean, I've contributed to open source before and I think it's, it's great, but now we have this other thing, which is you can actually get paid if you solve a ticket. And yeah, hopefully that incentivizes more people to just um, do what they love to do, which is in this case, coding. Go contribute to Perry AI guys. It would be good for your life. We're gonna take all the money and give it to you guys from the investors. Just don't tell them. And last thing is the next time we talk, we're probably gonna be re-releasing to yeah, all the haters online. So that'll be something. Support, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And thank you. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night.